and welcome to Path Made Easy. Today's example is an oral squamous cell carcinoma occurring on the tongue. So the deep aspect we can see muscle and adipose tissue and on the surface, at least in this location, we have normal stratified squamous epithelium. When we reach this point here, hopefully you can see that we've got a typical epithelium that's growing down and invading into the underlying muscle of the tongue in these small nests and islands. Now, if I look at one of these islands in more detail, I can see all the hallmark features of a malignancy. I can see lots of mitoses. I can see that some of the cells have pink cytoplasm indicating dyskeratosis. There are also large cells with macronuclei and some of them have very dark nuclei indicating hyperchromatism. So these cells are also forming keratin pearls in places and these are variable in size. One of the things we'd record with regards to this tumour is the depth of invasion. So you have to take a line from the adjacent epithelium and then drop down to the lowest point of invasion, which is about here. So approximately two millimetres, because this tumour does have an exophytic component, which we wouldn't count. We'd also look at the host response and if there's any stromal desmoplasia. Another key thing would be the pattern of invasion. So is it invading in large cohesive nests or in this case we can see a discohesive pattern as there are in places just one or two cells forming these small islands. Finally another thing we would comment on is the differentiation of the tumour. So this tumour is forming keratin uh, so you may think it's well differentiated but the deeper aspect, the keratin, is less obvious. So I'd probably call this moderately differentiated. It's not poorly differentiated because we can still see its epithelial in nature and there's areas of dyskeratosis. Finally, I just wanted to show you uh, another example um, of a squamous cell carcinoma because this one shows perineural invasion which along with lymphovascular invasion are other things we'd comment on. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, lots of nerve bundles. And hopefully you can see that we've got squamous cell carcinoma wrapping around those nerves. So that's associated with poor prognosis and local recurrence. So this was a squamous cell carcinoma. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, Path Made Easy.